this that was a great example of sports entertainment, and there are no <laughs> better sports entertainers than the Jericho Appreciation Society, man. I know that you are a diehard Jericho holic, but I have been eating up this version of Chris Jericho. You know that he since he's turned, he's leaned into this ultimate heel vibe, really loving what he's doing here. Um, and obviously, I'm a big Daniel Garcia fan. I love that guy's in-ring work. To see him getting opportunity, like opportunities now yeah. that he didn't get to have prior to this. This is really working well for that group. Um, I could see you this, rocking one of those leather hats he's got. No <laughs> doubt. I could I could totally pull that off. Um, <laughs> but Jericho Appreciation Society and Eddie Kingston, Santana Ortiz, I talked about this on Twitter, man, and I'll, I'll say it again. Um, this this is such a great pairing of teams because you have that like, and if you and no one saw this video from Eddie Kingston, the promo video Ooh. leading up to this match, you have to go and seek that out on AEW's social media because it Let's is reposted on our page. Pure, too, man. pure fire, dude. Pure, pure, pure fire. Um, Eddie Kingston has a way of delivering things with an emotion and an intensity that literally give me goosebumps. Um, so you have that no nonsense, that, that bulldog, you know, street fighter hood mentality. Those guys that are very proud, very powerful, uh, and very, very strong willed on the one side, um, no nonsense baby faces. And then the other side full of arrogance, full of pomp and circumstance, the private jet, you know, all this stuff. Jericho truly leaning into the larger than life persona. These two sides are so perfectly set against each other. I really, really, really love this story. And although, although the, the, the fans might be bummed by the outcome, it's all it's doing is pro it's prolonging that payoff, right? Jericho appreciation society had to cheat to win. They busted out Floyd, crack of the back to Kingston, worked out perfectly. I'm all for that, Scoot. Um, Worked (laughs) out perfectly. And the truth of the matter is I'm loving seeing these guys continue to to just rub the the noses of these baby faces in dirt, right? Like I I can't get enough of it, and it's going to make that payoff that much better, man. This has been working to a – like we just talked about, that Wardlow segment was fantastic. This feud has been booked very well. Tell me what you thought, SPD. I mean, you are a Jericho-holic, but you are a baby face, so you got to be a little conflicted. I am. Where's little, your head at with little, this one? Hey, cool hand crayfish there with your new name, I see. I uh, like it. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I am a little conflicted, but I am I'm all for Team Jericho. As much as Eddie Kingston's – I love his passion. I love – obviously, his promo was fantastic. He mm. could make a match, main event-worthy caliber, just being the hype-worthy. And cool. Santana, Ortiz are, <laughs> Santana and Ortiz are some of my top favorite you – know, one of my top favorite tag teams in general. Everybody loves With them. That being said, yeah, that's right. If I wasn't proud and I want to be powerful – that being said, bash, as the resident bash. baby face and a huge Jericho fan, I'm if I had to pick, I'd pick Jericho. Jericho heel because he's doing he's so fun to watch and he's he is so he's good. flawless in both elements. Heel baby face. I loved his mind games he was playing. He's flicking off the crowd and being super cocky, you know, make trying to make him jump, trying to make him yep. jump. like this. Yep. It was so funny. He had me cracking up. And so, man, I, so much I, of what Jericho Appreciation yeah. Society does just gets me to genuinely laugh. And they, like that bravo, because, you know, it's so hard to do comedy. Well, mm-hmm. these guys are crushing it with their comedy. Like they are legitimately funny. You're absolutely right, man. And I think this is far from over, but, you know, numbers game does always take an effect. So. I keep thinking, like, I keep my ear or my eye in my corner of my eye. I'm like, who's going to come out and help these guys? Who's going to come out and help these guys? So uh, someone's going to eventually come out there, and it's going to be a battle. I mean, Jericho is is the king of stables right now in AEW, you know, Inner Circle and now the Jericho Appreciation Society. So it's going to be a nice keep another stable war as we're seeing the pinnacle kind of dissolve, which is fine. And, you know, we still have, you know, like the factory, Dark Order and stuff. But the true, like, 
top mm-hmm. dog stables, mm-hmm. this would be a good a stable war, which is always mm-hmm. good to have those multi one ones as well. And, and there's been a lot of talk about you know AEW trademarking blood and guts and yeah. that being a, a, a sort of a staple, right? We we know that there there's the four key p- pay per views for AEW. Blood and guts could be something that really breaks through as something we look forward to every year. Right. And the way this one has been built up so far, I think this could be a great uh, build for blood and guts. I think that this could be an awesome pairing between these two teams, you know, and again, Jericho could go into it bragging. He's the ultimate King of blood and guts. You know, he, he's the one who's, who's pulled it off. I don't know. I think that this could be really an interesting stuff. Um, or you know he's wants to he Jericho would want to get revenge and he could sure. he could he could really be the storyteller in that and leading up to that one. Um, a Las I don't know. Vegas strip fight or Las Vegas strip street fight for double or nothing or something like something that could like be cool. That. Obviously, there's a lot there's a lot more meat to the story and I like them prolonging it, delaying the payoff with yeah. the baby faces winning. I like that. That was good stuff by them. 